Alright, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So today is a completely different video, but as you can see, the Suda America, if you press square and have a look at the cards that are added in this SBC, EA have gone ahead and released a Romero in this SBC. So you can complete this whole Suda America, all these 10 teams for roughly 50, 60k, and in return you'll get a bunch of packs. Silver packs may not seem good, you sell them, remake coins, you could be walking away with profit plus a pretty good card. So without further ado guys, let's get in to the review. Is Romero worth it? Alright, so jumping in to his stats, he is 5 foot 10, medium low work rates, which isn't ideal as a striker. Not a massive issue whatsoever though, because just use custom tactics, have him on stay forward, which I will do in just a second. Preferred foot is right, but not that that matters, because he, EA have gone big here, a 5 star skill move player added to an SBC, that's, that's, that's new from EA, very very excited for that, 3 star skill moves maybe not so great, for the skillers especially, but I have a 3 star skill move Werner who is incredible, and it's not a massive massive issue, you can do all of the basic skill moves too, um, but this card looks insane, of course I will be playing him on full chem, and I'm, I'm very excited to try this card, like I said before, he looks absolutely insane, now hopping into his in game stats, 93 pace which is decent well balanced as well sprint speed is good acceleration is good as well he's got some nice finishing attacking positioning isn't great um, but other than that I mean long shots isn't amazing that's not for me to this FIFA though uh, long passing is not horrible for a striker and short passing is very very good and vision is good as well agility and balance isn't insane but it's not horrible and 99 heading accuracy and 99 jumping so this will be very interesting headers once again aren't the meta um, but you never know you could score a header and this dude will most likely put it in the back of the net 94 strength as well and some nice stamina now for traits he is injury prone which is a bad trait i mean it just it just means he gets injured um, but worst case sub him off chuck a healing thing on him next game you'll be sorted so we will be using a sniper um, you could use an engine or a sniper it's literally up to preference maybe even a hunter if you want to i've gone for a sniper because you get a plus 10 agility boost plus 5 balance boost and a plus 5 composure boost composure a very important stat and from 85 to 90 composure will be very good now as for the custom tactics when when he's playing defensive we have gone and gotten him in a 4 triple 2 alongside Nanny we're going to sub Socrates off straight away for team of the season Traore um, but as you can see Romero up here we're going to see his custom tactics once it's a new player I haven't done his custom tactics but these are all just up to what I like so when we're playing defensive basic defensive support stay central and get in behind um, and same with Nanny here and now when we go to attacking um, sorry, instructions, yeah, there we go, attacking the exact same, but we are going to have him on stay forward, because um, attacking, usually, here's my tactics for attacking, very, very, very pressuring, press position after loss, with balance, uh, with balanced offense, now, for ultra attacking, literally the exact same, he's going to be on uh, this here, stay forward, stay central, get in behind, and the tactics in this, constant pressure and fast build up hopefully we don't have to go ultra attacking usually i do that if we're like losing by two goals and there's maybe 30 minutes left but we're going to start off a game defensive maybe 15 minutes then we will hop in to the attacking uh the attacking instructions which like i said stay central get in behind and stay forward without further ado guys let's get in to the review of the gameplay i should say is he worth it okay so the team we will be facing is just don't be incredible it's a decent team he's got red zaha which is some nice luck as well as red cruz which isn't bad he's got baby blanc i believe blank blanc um he's got a nice defense wow team of the season varan player moments ramos he's got flashback jerome boatang alongside Neuer. you guys can see it for yourself it's a nice team uh we are playing away as well so romero will be tested here We've conceded off the bat. Wow. From a header as well. Not often do you concede headers. I was literally going on about that before. We've already conceded. 
Yikes. Two nil down. The mirror here. Good pass through to Nanny. Now we've got Nanny. We're going to go for a drag back. He gets tackled. Good pass from Romero, though. He passes it, runs straight into position. Romero here. Good pass. Nanny get back through. Lovely stuff. Adama Traore. We're going to go back post to Murray's. That's not a great ball. Romero, can he sprint to it? He's that, that's rapid. He was beating Davies to that ball. He does get to it, of course. And a good pass. We're going to play that back to Romero. Back to Kyle Walker. This is the most we've had with him on it at the moment. Play that back to Witzel. Ramiro's now in position. Drag back. It's worked. It actually worked. What a goal. What a goal. Get in. That was awesome. I'm going to skip that replay. But what a goal. There's still hope. We're staying attacking. There is still hope in this match. 2-0 down just before half time. Now it's 2-1. But Ramiro, lovely stuff. Literally... I don't care if that's his strong foot or not. It literally doesn't matter. Five-star weak foot is OP in this game. That's what I love about him. Lovely drag back. Good agility and balance. He turned very good. And it was just overall an amazing goal. Nanny, Romero. Good freestyle skill moves. Lovely ball. Lovely ball. The gameplay seems to be horrible right now. Wait, I see that. I see that. Romero, get to it. Oh, my God. Wait, rebound. There we go. There we go. 2-2. There we go, Romero. What a bloody two goals from 2-0 down to make it 2-2. Oh, my God. I mean, we got unlucky with a first shot hitting the post. I mean, it's a rebound. I want to skip there. I apologize to my opponent. But lovely stuff from Romero. 2-2. I'm going to go defensive now. Um, I mean, yes, we got lucky with the tap-in. But realistically, the first time it should have gone in. Now, Romero once again. Good freestyle skill moves. Murray's making it run. Can we time that? We can. Very impressed with his passing right now. Romero with an interception. Oh, that was his weak foot. Um, of course, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whatsoever. Not a bad attempt. I would like to watch this. It wasn't a good shot on my part. It was more like, I, I think I accidentally finessed that. Not great on my part. Now, he is up for the corner because, of course, 99 and 99 hitting. 99 jumping, 99 hitting. So try aim it for him in the box. And if he does get ahead to it, you have a decent chance. Romero. He's running past some lovely stuff. Down to Murray's. Going to go for a drag back here. Trying to find build up play. Witzel, Romero. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. You guys probably heard me. I literally dealt, I pressed uh, B and A or I'm not on Xbox. That's Xbox controls. Uh, I did a fake shot. Tried to do a fake shot around and it just didn't register. Romero. Good ball to Nanny. Over the top to Romero. Bang that. He's insane. He's insane. A hat trick in the first match. Oh my god, he's insane. He is incredible. I, I haven't had this much fun with a striker in a long, long time. I'm saying he's better than Werner. I'm thinking of actually using this dude because, wow, a 3 2 from 2 0 down to coming 3 2 up. What a bloody volley that was as well. Get in. We have to stay defensive. Overall, I wouldn't be disappointed with a draw because I was 2-0 down. So you, you have to keep that in mind. Lovely stuff. Romero is incredible. I may not sound excited. I've got one hour. I've had one hour's sleep. So literally, incredible card, man. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can hold off the game, which I don't know. I'm not confident for some reason. What did I say? That was a good goal. Wow. My opponent just rainbow flicks me. I'm going attacking again. I want to get this winner. I'm motivated now. Right, Romero is actually shielding with his body, so he will give that to him. Not the best of passes. Well, not the best. It was a good pass. I mean, straight to Murray's, but Murray's with a horrible touch. Okay, that is the full-time whistle, a 3-3 draw, which I'm very happy with. 
Um, a brilliant goal on my opponent's part when it came to the third goal. It was a brilliant rainbow flick. It was a kickoff goal, um, but I'm not mad as I was 2-0 down. But Romero with a hat-trick. What a card, man. Dribbles completed 20 out of 22, and I'm, I'm very impressed with him. As you guys can see, the pros and cons on screen now. Pros, I'm going to say his pace. He felt faster than 93 pace. I'll tell you that now. And I'm going to give a massive pro to his shooting. Um, of course, with a sniper, he goes to like 99 finishing. Um, and I'm, I'm really impressed. Another massive pro, which is a no-brainer, is his five-star weak foot. Of course, five-star weak foot doesn't matter what strong foot you have. If you hit it and it's on target and it's the keeper can't get it, it's going in. Three-star, two-star, four-star... If you had a different, so if you had a lower weak foot in that scenario, or in a scenario where you need to put it on their weak foot, they wouldn't put it away compared to someone with their five star weak foot, obviously. And that's what I love about this card, man. Five star weak foot. You feel like in front of goal, you just feel more composed yourself because you're like you don't you don't care what foot it is because you know either way it's going to be incredible. So as for pros, like I said, he does feel faster um, than his pace. So we will put pace as a pro, his shooting as a pro, and his five star weak foot as a pro. Now as for cons, I literally can't think of any. That's how good this card is. The recommended chem style would be a sniper, um, but if you do want a pace boost and you're not too worried about the extra finishing and attacking positioning boost uh, or long shots boost I'd, uh, yeah, just go with a bloody engine if you want if you want 97 pace 98 pace go with an engine um, but definitely my recommended chem style would be a sniper as you guys can see one game played and three goals is absolutely phenomenal so i'm going to give this card a massive tick overall I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. I have to give him a 10 out of 10. I don't do this often, but when a card scores a hat-trick in their debut and I can't find any, a one con with them, then you know you're in for a treat. So a massive tick, 100% worth it, and a 10 out of 10. Anyways, it has been me, Davis. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new and you want to help me out, you can do so by dropping a like and subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.